Right. Uh, I believe our next uh, presenter is here. I can see him on the screen. Uh, welcome, Thomas. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Great. Perfect. I'm, I'm perfect. How about you? Yeah, very good. Very good. Glad you can join us. Thomas is uh, joining us from, the, from EVG, uh, which is the EV group. Um, and uh, without further ado, Thomas has got his slide up there to, to uh, show what he's going to be presenting on. So, um, Thomas, I'm just going to give you the floor. you got 20 minutes. If you start to overrun a little bit, it, I think we're pretty much running on time anyway. Perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll pop back in and, 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 and just let you know that you got a few minutes to go. But other than that, um, the floor is all yours, and I look forward to your presentation. Great. Thank you. So, like I already said, my name is Thomas Achleitner and I'm working in the business development of, e of EV Group. And just at the beginning, a few words on the company itself. So, EVG, EVG is a um, supplier for wafer processing equipment in the nanotechnology. Uh, we were founded in 1980. Um, and now, at the moment, we have around 1,300 employees worldwide, and we have fully owned subsidiaries in the US, Japan, South America, uh, South Korea, China, and Taiwan. Um, from the um, historical point of view, we are basically a wafer bonding company, but we are also very active in the fields of massless exposure technology and for sure also nano imprinting uh, lithography, what we will cover today. And here we have uh, mainly the Hercules NIL, a fully integ integrated track system, the EVG770, what is a step and repeat system. And the latest um, announcement was the EVG7300, what is a bridging tool between smart NIL technology and wafer level optics. Um, at the beginning of the talk, so what is NIL in general? Um, so NIL is a cost-effective and flexible technology to enable nanostructured surfaces as well as, as microstructured on wafer level. So it is definitely a wafer, uh, a volume-proven wafer level imprinting technology where you can uh, process uh, hundreds and thousands of micro and nanostructures in parallel. And this technology enables really high resolution at a very low cost structure, and it, and it is really insensitive uh, to shapes, sizes, and structures what you want to imprint. Um, our tool portfolio is here really from the step and repeat process um, to smart nil and also lens molding, and not only for um, high volume manufacturing, but also and especially, and especially also for R&D production environment. And we have also a nil competence center uh, in our clean room. Um, so it, this acts like a, an innovation incubator, basically. So the customer can come to, um, to our headquarters uh, and we help to ramp up, we help that the customer can get the right connections to, to our network um, to find contact with our partners. But later on, I will spend some words more on that. Um, let's talk about some applications for nano-imprinting lithography. So for sure, a very a hot topic is the displays and augmented reality. Sensor and wafer level optics, like you see here with the face um, uh, unlocking uh, phones, for example, and also the meter structures, what will be more and more important for the future. And just to give you some numbers here um, on the augmented reality glasses, nano imprinting lithography is not only used for the um, for the ARV uh, for the augmented reality waveguides here. Um, it can be also used for the connectivity models, for example, for the 3D cameras and also for the pro uh, projection engine. And just to give you a number, um, more than 20 meter lenses per AR class can be used. So that's, that's really, there's huge potential in this entire market, but there's one downside because all of these applications, they basically they have the same limitations because they have a lack on the mastering. Because the mastering here, that's the time consuming uh, process step right off the beginning of the process. Uh, and as it is really time consuming, it is also one of the most expensive process here in the, 